Children who attend public school on the Lower East Side, they don't always get a chance to mingle with professional artists and learn about art. But now they can, thanks to a nonprofit program, and the artists say they benefit just as much as the children. Linda Becerra reports in this week's Misiones. This is a public affairs presentation of NBC4. Visiones. Depending on what you wrote, you're going to choose different colors and the different shapes that you wrote about, and you're going to create an abstract drawing. Kenneth Yee is a collage artist by trade, but he volunteers his time helping develop the next generation of artists. It's really about um, giving them the opportunity to have these activities and be, um, you know, in, introduced to different art and different ways of, you know, expressing their selves. They've got such innate creativity that we should foster it, not put it aside. Jason Covert is another volunteer artist. They work with a nonprofit group called Art for Progress, which partners with schools and community groups to offer free art workshops. There is a great need there, and when you have the opportunity to go into the classroom and see the way the children react uh, to the, the workshops and, and uh, how excited they are, and you can see that it really does make a difference for them. Here at Lower Manhattan's PS15, the Roberto Clemente School, fifth graders are asked to see their neighborhood through new eyes. And really kind of more on an abstract level, really thinking about um, their community in form of shapes and colors. So what are the different colors you might see and what are the different shapes and patterns you might see in your community. He says often the kids seem a bit hesitant at first, but then they open up. It's a very simple thing for me to understand having been on the inside because I see the children's faces. I see the turn from, from being the little tough guy to by being the child at the end so proud of their own art. Now Art for Progress is looking into expanding its reach to more adults. I am working currently to develop a subdivision of Art for Progress called Place for Progress that will work to produce and perform socially relevant theater. The main mission of the organization, which was founded three years ago, is to provide exposure for emerging artists in addition to educating future artists. They could take a look at our, our website at uh, www.artforprogress.org and there's um, information on there where they can get in touch with us and, uh, and uh, get involved. Art for Progress next project is in April when they'll hold an eight-week workshop in Manhattan. Linda Baccaro for Visiones.